What's up guys, it's my agent Simone and this is an MSL exclusive. I have a special guest to the right of me, Mr. Zaire. I wanna introduce you to the world. Tell everybody um, what you do, your style of music, and we'll go from there. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm Zaire. I'm an artist and producer. I do all types of music, um, pop, hip hop, R&B, I do it all. So I'm excited to have you here today. Now we talked about, you already said, music producer. Yeah. You also are an artist. And then I saw something about you were a drummer at one point in time. Oh yeah, I was drumming for like five, six years, since fourth grade. So is that what made you get into production or like how did you actually get into that? Yeah, it was an easy transition since I was always a drummer. Mm -hmm. I just came home one time and I saw Manny Fresh on YouTube <laughs> and, I, and like, he just kept popping up on my suggestions. So I clicked on and he was cooking it up from scratch. You know Manny Fresh, a legend in my city, I had to check him out and then that's why, that's what really made me want to get into it, you know, so. Yeah, no, so I'm trying to hear it to wait to see if your New Orleans accent is going to be strong. Like, I know you're from New Orleans. Talk about, like, what that was like growing up there. Yeah, growing up was smooth. Like, there's no place like it, really. The fam, like, my family, the culture, just the people there is just, mm -hmm. like, it's different. And it's, like, real, like, you get that hospitality down there, you don't get nowhere else. But my accent, I tone down on it. You for, tone it, so you can switch it up. Oh, for sure. But it comes out like when you get mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you get definitely, mad, you, definitely. okay. But if I really was speaking with my accent, you wouldn't understand what I was saying right now. <laughs> right, yeah. I know like, no, I know a lot of people from New Orleans and they definitely, it's really strong. When it's strong, it's strong. It's strong. It's strong. But don't kill me. When I went to New Orleans, I was trying to find something good to eat and I didn't find no good food. So like, if oh, I'm in New Orleans, man. where should I go to eat? Uh, that's a, that's a hard question for me. I would I would say you really need to just go go to somebody that's a native and get the home cooking. The home cooking like, meals. Yeah. On that. It's not just restaurants and everything. But yeah. If I had to say one, I say try Neos. Neos. You know, yeah. I've been there Look at him. Times. He plugging the hook. Like, yeah, Neos. Plugging. Look, I'm gonna try it. I haven't been, but yeah. I'm gonna go down there and because yeah. I literally like when I travel, one of the things I want to do is eat. Like I want to have yeah. good food. I mean that's to me, what makes the experience of the trip like yeah. that much better. And I was like really disappointed when I went down there and I was just yeah, going to different restaurants. You're not hitting the right spot, man. <laughs> you're not hitting the right spot. So yeah. talk about your favorite part about growing up in New Orleans and the worst part about growing up in New Orleans. All right, my favorite part about growing up in New Orleans, I would say, I would say, I would say the, the culture. The culture and the people. It's, a, it's nothing like it, like I said. Um, the people down there, they just, I don't know, they fit me, they, they, they funny, they yeah. like, I don't know, they different, they, they just, it just feel right when I'm there, you know? And what was the worst part? Ah, uh, worst part, I was a crime. I was the a, crime, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's the city hot right now, man, pretty for my city, right? Man, know? I feel like Atlanta is, is on the next level, too, when it comes to crime. The crime rates are through the roof right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you grew up in New Orleans. You started, uh, you were on a drum, you were in the band. Drum line. You were, drum line, you were on a drum line. Eighth grade front line, man. Eighth grade What's front up? line. What's up, man? <laughs> okay, and so then you transitioned a little bit, graduated from high school. Yep. You got in where you were actually producing before high school or after high school? I was uh, producing before high school. Before? Like my okay. junior year, that's when I really got, got into it. Okay, did yeah. you watch uh, Kanye's latest? Uh, yeah, so how did that make you feel? Because you know, like with that documentary, he really showed how he went from producer to artist. And like what, I guess what I'm asking is, how does that make you feel knowing that somebody that great came from a, 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 the same space, basically? No, yeah, I know, <laughs> it made me feel great, honestly. I really saw my, a lot of myself in him. Like even yeah. with his relationship with his mom, I got a real mm -hmm. tight relationship with my mom. And I really saw myself in him. And yeah. I, like, it really hit home for me. It really did. I was watching it at work, man, on the clock. Yeah. Right. And I think he's not the only person who was a producer. I know Young Berg, he's also one producer that also is an artist. Young Berg, um, Pharrell. Berg, you got Pharrell, Pharrell. You got, you look up the Rush, Wayne. The you got, Wayne. yeah, it's a lot of them. So you coming into this game with that same skill set, what yeah. sets you apart? Like, what are you going to do to create your own lane? I don't know, I just think I got my own style. Especially even being from the world. It's like, I got my, we got our own swag and everything. It's not like, I don't know. One top star from New Orleans that's really doing it right now. We just know for rappers, so that's my lane right there. How were you able to get into pop growing up in a world full of rap? That's, that's, that's a great <laughs> question right there. How did I get into pop? I just listen to all all types of music. So mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of Calvin Harris. He's also a producer too. Mm -hmm. So Calvin Harris, The Weeknd, uh, even Taylor Roy. Like, like I take inspiration from all of them. Mm -hmm. So that's what really got me in. 
on that lane. Into crossing over. So yeah. you really feel like you I gotta, can. you can really like drive this lane and create something and make something different. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pop your shit on camera for because sure. you know, like, people gotta believe in you. Like, sure. I think, you know, the biggest thing is before I even listen to your music, I'm really big on what's your personality like. You know, yeah. how how do we look at you? What what is what is it about you right now before I even get to the music part? That's just, it's just hard to say honestly. <laughs> like, you really gotta see for yourself. I feel like I'm him, and I'm gonna show the world that. Like, I'm, I'd rather like show you than tell you. So a lot of people don't know you're currently in school right now. Yeah, you're at Georgia Tech. I mean, isn't it hard to get into that school? That's like a big thing in Atlanta to go to Georgia yes, Tech. Yes, indeed, it's hard to get in there. <laughs> Thank God. <I> got you, <laughs> but yeah. How do you how do you balance team. it together? Um, I do my best, but <laughs> I put school first, of course. That's the reason why I'm here. So the minute the school got out the window, I wouldn't even be living in Atlanta. So I look at it like paying my rent. Yeah. You know, so I handle what I got to do in school and. Do my music on, not on the side, but like that's right that's there. yeah. They both like half and half, 50-50. Right. So business it. administration is that yep. your that's your major? Yep. Why did you choose that major? I just switched over actually. I was computer science. <laughs> I had to cut that. You Wait, know. why? <laughs> too much? <laughs> was it too much? Like it's impossible. Nah, it's <laughs> impossible. But it's hard. Like yeah. it's, you got to be really passionate about it. Yeah. To to be successful in it. So I know that's not really what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Um. So I just made the switch to business. I feel like as an artist, producer, and like when I'm selling, I am my brand. This is like, I'm a walking business, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I feel like it would just be more beneficial for me. So that's why I, that's why I switched it to computer science. It's it, just, it was it, too uh, tedious. It was taking too much out too of you. Tedious. I tried it. You can't say I didn't try it, you know? I tried it, but it, well, it wasn't for me. <laughs> so <laughs> when you, okay, so when you looking at a list of majors, you're going down, okay, this is what I want to do. I'm switching over for, from computer science to business administration. What is it that drew you to that versus like music management or, or business management? Why is it business administration? Um, I feel like, so they have like music tech program at tech okay. and everything. But I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't that driven to do that because mm -hmm. I taught everything I, I taught myself everything I know so far. I'm like, what I need a professor to tell me right. how to cook a beat up or something. Like, I'm calling <laughs> you, like, right. that's how I feel. But yeah. I just feel like you should go to school for something you can't teach yourself. Nah, that's so, that's that's powerful. You right. only 19 talking like that. Man, wow. You you got you got some wisdom on you. I see. <laughs> so, what has been your biggest challenge so far, being like a college student, um, and how have you like prepared yourself for graduation to enter into this new chapter as an artist? What have you been doing to prepare? Uh, I haven't even started thinking about graduating yet. Okay. I'm just trying to get through my sophomore year. You a sophomore year right now? Yeah. Oh, you're rise a sophomore. sophomore. Rise, rise a sophomore. sophomore. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I really just been staying focused. Honestly, like just. So you gonna you gonna graduate and you gonna finish and you still gonna do? I mean, I, I, I really think that. I'm a, I think I'm gonna blow up before I graduate, but I'm gonna try my best to finish. But you know, I'm gonna do it for my mom. Right? Aw, you know, that's why I finished yeah. school. I finished school because of my dad. He was just yeah. like, I felt like I didn't need it. Yeah. I feel like, like you said, I don't need help learning how to cook up a beat. I don't need help, you know, figuring yeah, right. out how to answer questions, ask questions, yeah. and stuff like that. So, right. I mean, but it is a certain thing about school that it's just demonstrating that you can learn and you right. can, you know, retain your information. So I right. think that's important. And it's a flex of graduating from tech, so I gotta do Yeah, that. no, tech, no, tech is a big deal. I graduated hey. from state, but if I could have gone to tech, I would have hey, definitely hey. done it. Do you still do your thing, though? No? That's it's all right. It's, it's impressive. It's all really, right. really impressive. Um, So what, you stepping into your, well, you've already been an artist for how long now? Because I know you were a producer at first. Couple months, I was... Couple months? You just now <laughs> yeah, started? Yeah, I just okay. switched over. Like, okay. I, I didn't want to be an artist at first. I just okay. wanted to be a producer. So know? how did that come about? Were you just like making a beat and then you just start singing behind it or yeah. like? I was working with some, I was working with artists and I would do reference tracks. Okay. For them. I would write songs for them. I was getting to the writing. My mom was like, there's a bag in that too. So I started writing. So mm -hmm. I'd get on my beat, do a song, send it to the managers and the artists. Mm -hmm. So my mom and they'll be like, oh, you sound good. Mm -hmm. like, you need to do your own thing. So. I kept hearing that from everybody, so yeah. that's what pushed me to, to try my own project. Can you sing or can you sing? Like, which one is it? Is it more, Wait, or is it like, is it like a, it's a difference. So singing is kind of like, you can hold a note, but yeah. I feel like saying, like, you touching the soul, like you oh, making uh, us. <laughs> I sing, I sing. You I sing. sing. Yeah. You just gonna give us a, I can a vibe. Yeah, okay. I can hit it, I can hit a note too. So vibe music. Yeah. How do you feel yeah. about, uh, well, vibe music has been going on for a long time. Yeah. What's your take on the house music coming back with Drake, Beyonce, trying to bring that wave back? I love it. You I love it? I make house music. Really? I'm talking about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I make house music. 
Okay. I, I was making house music before he dropped that album. Wow. That's why it hit me. I'm like. Hey. Yeah, because you like you right on time. You feel like you were right on time. I'm yeah. with the great doing Beyonce just dropped house. Drake, you know. Mm -hmm. So those top top household names right there. So better with you is out now. The single that you're pushing. What was the inspiration in choosing that one as the single to push? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So. The big reason was because it's fully produced by me. It's no co-prize or anything. Like the record is 100% me. So that was one of the, the main, the main reasons why we chose that record. But besides that, inspiration behind it, like moving to Atlanta, kind of helped me, like dive into this Afro beat and yeah. African culture yeah. that I didn't really know about. That, yeah. that was that popular. So that was the vibe and headspace I was in. So when I was making the beat, I was at work and I was making the beat, <laughs> watching the cameras and all that, man. Yeah. But I was making a beat and that was the vibe I was in. Yeah. Just trying something new and trying to see like, if I could vibe on it. And then when I got to my dorm, I just knocked out the hook and verse. Like, yeah. Like that, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I sound good on this. No, you do. It, when I heard it, like it's like you said, it's vibe music. It's, yeah. it's And it also gives me like a summer feel, yeah, an yeah. island vibe so, in a way. Yeah. Um, and is that something that we can expect from you all the time or is that something you just wanted to tap into? Because you know when you make that introduction as an yeah, artist, people, we kind of stick to that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's definitely something you can expect, but it's not all I offer, you know. So I have a lot more to show the world that I'm excited. I do hip hop and everything, so I'm going to be able to show that as we go forward. But yeah. I think that's definitely part of my sound. You I embody me it well, I feel like. Yeah. And I feel like you're giving me like a younger Chris Brown vibe. You know, like when Chris Brown first came out, how yeah. like innocent and young and fresh he was, like hungry, yeah. ready to show the world that he could yeah. sing, rap, dance, whatever. Yeah. I feel like you come in with a triple threat. You know, you right. can sing, you can produce, you could just, you have the eye for just the, the talent and yeah. music in general. How does that feel to come behind somebody that great? You know, like to be able to walk into your own lane. Yeah, it feel good. You set the bar high, but that's a great <laughs> comparison already, yeah. I would say. But um, that's a big inspiration of mine, so. Yeah, Chris Brown is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I feel it. Yeah. I feel the Chris Brown energy yeah. in a way. I think he's gonna rob with me when he, when he catch on, <laughs> man, so. All right, so I got $2 million for you. Two million. Two million. I'm only giving you a budget to make one music video, produce one EP, or one album, and we'll do a social media campaign. But you can only do this with one artist. Who is that one artist? One artist. That's gonna put you on the map. You you gotta collab with him. Who is it gonna be? Drake. Drake? <laughs> yeah. Look, every time, it don't matter what Drake, Drake can get in there and say two words. It's gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a hit. He's nice, man. Yeah. Super talented. He's definitely nice. So what's something that we should know about you that we don't know? Like what's something exciting? Um something exciting. <laughs> I love me on the spot. Uh, Cause I mean you got a lot of hidden talents, and I think people with a lot of oh, talents. What? I dance. Nobody you really dance? know that. See? Nobody Look, really that's I told that. you. Okay, so that's a big one. Like nobody really know that. So are you gonna incorporate that in your music, or are you gonna Definitely. wait and just surprise everybody? Definitely, I'm incorporating it now. Right in my, now? In my okay. new music video, better with you. I hit a little shimmy in there. <laughs> you hit a so little my, shimmy. My next one, I'm going in. So be ready. With the whole choreography and everything. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, but. Down, that down the line for sure. That down the line. All right, so we already talked about who your dream collaboration is. We talked yeah. about your foundation, where you came from. We talked about what we can expect with your music and your style. We yeah. talked about the fact that you can dance and nobody knew that. Nobody knew, man. What's next for Zaire? What's next? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see, man. <laughs> but uh, I do have this single out, Better With You, so go, go stream that. I got a lot more music coming soon, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited for that too. Wait, one more question before we go. What's that? Are you in a relationship? Nah, not right now. Not right now? Not right now. Nobody in the cut? Nobody in the cut. I'm focused. <laughs> focused right now. I'm focused. You know? All right, ladies, look, y'all heard it. He is single and ready to mingle, but he's focused. I'm focused, focused man. He's focused. He's going to stay focused. to get crazy, first. so I got to chill. I got to chill. <laughs> well, tell everybody where to find you on social media, where we can stream your yeah. music. All platforms, Zaire Rouge, Z-A-I-R-E-R-O-U-E-G-E. Me, man. And you can follow me at my Asia Simone on all social media platforms. That's M I Asia and Simone with a Y. And thank you so much, Zaire, for joining us today. We cannot wait to see what you have in store because you got talent. This is real talent. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank y'all for having me. All right, y'all stay tuned. We got more coming up.